after a short break. <laughs> okay, maybe not that short. We are continuing with the 80 tiny 85. And because it is tiny, I will attempt to explain how to use it in a tiny time space in under 4 minutes, starting now. Because most tutorials online can be slightly outdated, the process might have changed a little in the last years. I started off by reading the article on the 80Tiny85 by MIT's Hilo Tech Group. It is a great resource. Go check it out in the link in the description. So, we first need to install the supporting drivers. Start off by opening the Preferences tab in the Arduino IDE and in File under the field called Additional Boards Managers URLs, paste the link as seen on the screen. You can copy it from the description. Then click OK. After that, open the Boards option from the Tools drop down selection and navigate the Boards Manager option. Here search the term 80Tiny in the search bar and when the 80Tiny installation box comes up, just click Install and OK. Now you are ready to program the 80Tiny85. Take your Arduino Uno and plug it in your PC with a USB cable. In the Arduino IDE, load up the example sketch Arduino as ISP in File Examples and upload it as any normal code. So far, no connections are needed. If we look at the 80Tiny85 itself, when it isn't being programmed by the configured Arduino Uno, we can see that it has 5 pins that utilize positive modulation, analog input, and digital I.O. But to program it, we hook it up with some cables to the configured Arduino Uno. This fritzing sketch can clarify the layout a little bit. We connect the bottom left pin to Arduino ground, the reset pin or top left to Arduino pin 10, VCC to 5 volts, and then the 80 tiny pin 0 to Arduino pin 11, pin 1 to Arduino pin 12, and finally pin 2 to Arduino pin 13. In the Arduino IDE, we need to change the board type to the 80Tiny85 for the compiler to work. So under Tools, Boards, find the row labeled 80Tiny85-45-85. Below select the 85 processor with a 1MHz clock and do not forget to select the programmer Arduino as ISP as this is crucial to successfully uploading code. It is up to you what you want to program now, but for this video I am providing a piece of code that I wrote to make a potentiometer LED blinker. You can download it in the Instructables project below and upload it to your 80Tiny85. Just make sure to gather 3 LEDs, a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, 3 220 ohm resistors and some jumper cables. By following the diagram, Start off by connecting each resistor to each individual anode of the LEDs. Then connect the cathodes to ground of a power supply. Connect the ground and VCC pins of the 80Tiny85 to power and ground respectively. Last, connect the center pin of the potentiometer to the pin 3 of the 80Tiny and the opposing pins again to the power supply and ground respectively. And we're done! And here we can see that indeed the 80Tiny85 is working correctly. The LEDs blink faster or slower when the potentiometer head is turned left or right. Customize the code and circuit as you please. While researching this video topic, I came across some really great videos, which of one I really liked. Make sure to go and watch Great Scott's 80Tiny85 tutorial. If you want to see more videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for the next video. Until then, I will see you in the next video.